I am quickly modeling a simple conifer tree here. It is speed up because I have a plenty of modeling tutorials from scratch, so check them out. Back to normal speed. I need to make sure now that the top vertices are merged because I only need the one. So I use this merge tool and merge them by distance and now I'm checking it's one, okay. Now I need to finish the bottom part and add the trunk. So let's extrude it like that, adjust it a little bit. Okay, and now the trunk. Yeah, and scale, fill, and we have our shape. I want this model to be low poly because it will be easier to work with and to just demonstrate. I want to be sure that face normals are pointing outside, so just use this tool. Okay, and now uh, let's also visualize it by checking this icon. And as you can see, those blue lines are normals. They are pointing outside, which is good, and we can hide them. And now we can actually start the UV unwrapping process. So to do that, uh, we need to basically tell Blender where to cut. So I'm just selecting those rings. And uh, now also the edges here, here, here and in several places. Just so uh, those will be places to uh, make uh, seams to cut the... 3D mesh into this 2D uh, flat representation. So I'm checking, okay, and now just pick this option, mark seam. You can see this red overlay, okay, and now we can actually unwrap it. So I'm changing the tab here and select everything like that, unwrap. And yeah, this is our unwrap version. What I'm doing now is just uh, reposition some of these uh, islands, so it will be less, you know, risky to have some issues later. I have some space around those islands, which is good, and I'm selecting, and you can see on the left side, now just export to OBJ, like that, pick a place, name a file, and export, okay. And here we are in Procreate. And now I will just import the whole folder because uh, we also need a uh, material. So just drag it like that. Now close the file explorer. Okay. And open the artwork. And here we go. Here it is. And it have this UV map. So it's ready to paint. I will quickly paint it with a default color I have. So just this red in this case, of course it's messy, let's undo that. And I will pick some green. Cool, now I need to paint the trunk with a different color. So let's pick a brown, let's say. Okay, and I can just paint like that. But uh, it will be a bit messy because it's hard to not touch any of the green color on the bottom as you can see now so let's undo that what we can do is actually use the 2d representation where the texture is stored and because i use this uh, green color to fill the whole tree i can now see where i need to paint like that to cover this uh, only this area as you can see now I'm back here to 3D view and uh, yeah, it's looking better. And to make it not that bland, I can now just add some more colors, more shades. I just use this reference tool with uh, 3D. I can just use a darker green, just speed it up. Okay, like that. Paint on those like edges. And now I can just blend it a bit. I do it quickly and speed up. Don't want to be too precise here because it's just a demonstration. But as you can see, it's already getting a bit more interesting. So we can of course, you know, smooth some places, stuff like that. And yeah, 
here is the tree, the preview, and that's all.